Welcome to Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker, the crime critic. Back with another episode with my guy, Twin. Yeah, yeah. We're going to wrap this up and talk about how and does he take any responsibility for the death of his nephew in prison. We're going to talk about how he died, and I want to know how Twin feels about that. I mean, does he in any kind of way blame himself? But before we get to those uh, two pivotal parts of this interview, I want to talk about what led up to it you know when you were talking to me this morning uh you were telling me how you know you were doing everything that you could to write him every day mm-hmm. talking to him trying to encourage him to mm-hmm. stay away from you know the lifestyle so go ahead right, and just, right, right. Just, just, just tell him what you were telling me this morning yeah like i was telling you man to make it short and, and, and it's sweet man that um you know when he got locked up man um my mom was telling me that he was getting shipped to um to prison. Okay, now before we get to that part, uh, did, had he been in any trouble before? Yes, he has. He has? Yes, yes. yes. Tell us a little bit about that before we get well, to prison. Well, so, you know, and he got some some little, um, some little drug charges, um, some little burglary charges, little little things like that. Things. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's nothing big. And, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and his sentence was a 3 at 30. Okay. That's what he came to prison for? Yes. Okay. He came to prison with mm-hmm. a three-year sentence for 30 three years roughly sentence one year to do. Exactly. But, but by him catching another charge while he was on probation, that um, it added on to his sentence. Okay. Concurrent. So, but he had to finish the other one to make parole. I see. I see. You, you, yeah. you know how it is, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so they shipped him to um, um, West High. I, I think it's, uh, it's West High. Um, but, um, um, when they shipped him there, my, my mama told me, and I, I was like, hey, I got to get in touch with my nephew. So I give him the ins and outs, so far, so How to navigate this. Yeah. Right. Every day I'm writing him. Every day is, is, is like I can't stop because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about the welfare of my nephew, uh, affiliated and, and all the things that goes on in prison that he don't know nothing about. Mm-hmm. By me bent down for uh, 17, Knowing all the ins and outs of uh, prison, it's only right for me to school my nephew. I than get that. S- someone else trying to school him yeah. and school him the wrong way. Yeah. So you know what I mean. Um, each and every day, man, I'm writing him and, and telling him, man, stay in school, man. Um, uh, take these programs, man. Um, get to the annex, man. Stay working out. Stay in your word, because he's um um he's he's been raised up straight. He he know he knows the word. But the you lifestyle that he was it. living right, mm-hmm. um, um, just a chance for you to get yourself right. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and and you were telling him that because you didn't want him to end up coming in here and making the situation worse. To make it worse, you, man. You, you're telling him these things because that's what we all do. Exactly. Somebody we love comes in and we try exactly. to give him the best advice we can. The best advice we can. Exactly. Even though it's the jungle, mm-hmm. it's a certain way you can navigate. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. go ahead. And 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 you know by doing that, um, he was writing back. I'm good, man. Um, everything's all right. I'm in, I'm in class. I'm, I'm out the way. I'm not worried about these dudes. I ain't worried about the homeboys. Um, I'm, I'm doing what I'm, I'm supposed to do. Let me and ask you a question about that. Did you believe him? At first, I did. Mm-hmm. At first, I did. Go ahead. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, so, but something kept on uh, telling me, hey, get at him, stay at him. And once I kept on doing that. My mom, when I talked to her, she was like, why is there asking for this amount of money? He was uh, asking for a lot uh, of money. One time he asked for 800. And I'm like, what do you want with 800? Is his money? And I says, no, something ain't right. Now, I'm start thinking. Right, because you've been here. Uh, exactly. You, know, you asking for that kind of money. That kind of money. Prison. Right. Yeah, she don't know. She don't know. But you know. I know. Something's off. She's, she's green to it. Go ahead. I'm not. Right, you're not. So, um, um, and and then another time he asked for 500. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wait, 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 hold on, no, no, no. What's going on? And and as the um uh story unfolded, he was saying to her um uh something about they taking his money. The courts is uh taking his his money as as we know when we go do trial or um um yeah. in, in thing, they, yeah, they let, me, let me explain that to my yeah. listeners real quick what that means you know a lot of times when you come to prison you have what they call fines and fees you know the courts they'll make you pay fines and restitution to your mm-hmm. victims 
court fees and things like that, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of times when you come in, you have these fees and they take half of the money that you right. earn. Even though right. you're only earning pennies, mm -hmm. they still take half still of that money and half of any money that your family mm -hmm. sends you in here yep. to pay those fees and restitution. Yeah, they, they so he was telling them. your grandmother, or his grandmother, your mm -hmm. mother, exactly. this is exactly. why I need this money. This is why. Okay, go ahead. And, and, he's, and, and he was explaining to her that, that he... he he, he want to buy some, some commissary so he can eat. So he's buying the commissary off the land. Off the land. And what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that he's buying the commissary from somebody else that's in the building mm -hmm. with him that has commissary for mm -hmm. sale. He's not putting the money on his books to get commissary from the state. Mm -hmm. He's buying it from another inmate, you know what I'm saying, that trying to get a better deal. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, to um, to make the long story short, um, um, it got to the point to where um, I found out that um, he was calling his girl late night and i'm like oh, hold on really <laughs> so yeah and so i'm like well, we oh, know what that I, is mama. exactly yeah. so i'm like mama there's nine to you yeah that boy got a phone he got a phone yeah so, so it, it, right yeah. right in so many words i, I told her, her that. Know right, that right right right, yeah, right. You so so you know um um with that being said now i see oh okay he asked for all this money and he used to sell dope on the street. So that means he's exactly. Back so at he's it. he's back at it in yeah. prison, right. selling, yeah. hustling, yeah. more money, easy yeah. money. Yeah, you right there. Right. All all users is right there. You don't have to go nowhere. You gotta go nowhere. They so gonna come to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So by his selling, being a vet at this thing, um, um, he so had to be the one that's teaching. So he's selling, him. schooling him. Yeah. On the business. Yes. Yeah. This the person go to because how do my nephew know? To go get this from him. He don't know. And he he, he don't know. There. He just yeah. got there. Yeah. So you you know after all that un, un, unfold, now I'm deeply just in my um um to my letter to him, boy. None of this and yeah, you're getting I'm, at it. I'm, I'm I'm getting at him. Right. And so you know what this man I already to. know is is yeah. is is, is it's lead gonna to. lead to. So you know um um after time uh uh went on um I wrote him a couple more times and. I slowed down to see his response. Yeah. And then he responded back, Unc, I ain't doing nothing, Unc. I'm good. And I'm, I'm right back, stop lying to me. Right. Stay out the way. Now I'm trying to see, this one I was at Turning Center. Now I'm trying to see if I can get him to, to me so I can look after him. If not to me, let's get him to uh, special needs or River Bend where it's laid back. He don't have to worry about all that crazy stuff, the jungle, all those things what's going on, where he's at. Okay, let me stop you right there. We need to talk about that because huh, a lot of times people come into prison and they get put in a different environment, mm -hmm. right? Uh, a little bit more hostile. Exactly. More, exactly. Know, it's faster. It's faster. And uh, those of us that have been in for mm -hmm. a while, familiar with that environment, mm -hmm. we might be at a place where it's a little slower now. Exactly. Like exactly. where we're at now. Exactly. And when we write somebody that's in the jungle, mm -hmm. They assume that we don't understand mm. what it is. Mm -hmm. So they really don't take our advice because it's like, you're not here. Mm -hmm. Everything is fast here. It's not what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as we think. You know, when we say stay out of the way, you got to remember. And I'm sure you still meant well. Mm -hmm. He just got to prison. Mm -hmm. You're telling him to stay out of the way, and everything is always, it's, it's in his it's, face. It's in his face. It's 100 it's, miles it's, around. It's in his face. And it's not easy to stay mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. That's the best thing to do. Right. But it's right. not the easiest it's not thing the to easiest do thing to when do. you're in the jungle. When you're in the yeah. jungle, you got to do what? Man, do as the, in the, the it's alliance. It's, 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 it's E to be E. Yeah, exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Survive, so yeah. you know, you're giving him the right advice, but it's hard to accept that advice when you're in the midst of mm -hmm. all that chaos. And they missed them. You know it's the right thing to do, but it's hard mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, he's looking around, I'm assuming, because I've been there. Mm -hmm. You've been there. Mm -hmm. He's looking around and he's like, ain't nobody else staying out of the way. Man, for real. Where am I going to yeah. be able yeah. to stay out yeah. of the way? Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. So what exactly. do you do? And uh, I just wanted to point that out because, you know, a lot of times we give advice and we project what we would do mm -hmm. in that situation, but mm -hmm. what we don't factor in a lot, and I still mess up when I do this, Yeah. what we don't factor in is the years of experience that we have. Exactly. The relationships exactly. that we have built with different people exactly. at these different places where if 
we say, no, nah, I ain't on that, they'll respect that. Mm-hmm. But somebody mm-hmm. new to the system, you feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Ain't got those reputations built yet. Mm-hmm. Got to make a, a name for yourself on your own. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a little bit harder. 100% so I just right. wanted people to understand that because, uh, you know, you might have a family member that's locked up and you're giving them that the right advice. Keep doing that. Keep doing it. Keep giving them that advice. But don't expect them to take that advice the first, second, third, fourth, or even the fifth mm-hmm. time that you give it. But eventually they'll get it. But you, you're going to have to be patient with them because it is not easy in here it's not. to sit on the sideline. No, it's not. It's not easy. It really isn't. You know what I mean? But go ahead. Yeah, but um, um, after all that, um, um, some some time passed by, a couple of days or yeah. whatever, and, and I'm in a pod um, playing some card games, and um, the, um, the guard called me to the desk. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm thinking mail or so or something, whatever. And she said, call home. Mm-hmm. I'm like, call home. Mm-hmm. We don't want to hear those. No, things. that's not. We don't never want to hear. <laughs> it's call all home or go see man, the chapel. Man, man, go get the six chapel. We, we don't, don't want to hear that junk. Ain't none of that good. So my heart is racing. Like, whoa, hold on, what's going on, man? What, what's going on? So I, I went up to the phone and called. I called my cousin first. Cause that was the, the first number that, that, that came to my life, and I was, I was oh, so what's going on? Then call your brother. I said, call my brother. All right, all right, cool. Now what are you thinking now? When they everybody, you call somebody, then they said call somebody else. What yeah. are you thinking? I'm thinking something happened in the family. Yeah. Something happened. You're in, not thinking penitentiary. I'm You're definitely thinking no penitentiary. I'm thinking street. No, I'm street. Right, about. right. And 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 so I'm, I'm like, man, I hope ain't nothing. Happened, man. I'm like, come, come, come on, because my grandmother um passed away two years prior, yeah. so and I'm, I'm like, golly, what's going on? And yeah. and um his his father just passed away mm. t- two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So I'm like, oh, oh, okay, what's what's going on? I'm t- I'm I'm t- tired of calling home. It's bad news. It's, it's bad news and bad news. Now let me ask you this: How did his father pass away? He had a, um um he he, he uh, um. Was it, uh, he he was a diabetic. He was a diabetic. Yes. Okay. And and he died in the car. He died in the car. He wasn't a yes. diabetic coma. Yes. Just, okay. Okay. And, go ahead. Yeah, but uh, um um so I called my brother, my twin brother, and he boo hoo crying. And I'm like, hold on, whoa, whoa, hold on, what's wrong? So now my heart is really racing. I'm like, man, what's wrong? He said, man, yeah, Derek. I'm like, what? Man, call mama. Call. I called my mother. So he couldn't even tell. He couldn't even tell. He couldn't even get the words out of He him. was gone. Yeah. And so. Now, by now, your mind is racing. You, man, you, as, you know as, it's exactly. about Darius. Exactly. But you don't know what. What. Hmm. And, and, and because that killed everything about moms. Yeah. And, and, and I was like, man, please. You got mom, a sense of relief. Right. But you still panic. Exactly. Because you don't know Something what has well. happened to your nephew. Yeah. yeah. So I, I called my mother, and she was so calm. And she was like, baby. Are you, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What's, uh, what's up? You know, well, um, you you know Dare is dead. I said, what? Mm. And I paused. I'm like, what, 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 uh, huh? Just straight like it. Yes. I'm like, what do you mean? He's gone, baby. And I just hung up the phone. Mm. I'm like, not my first nephew. Yeah. Not my nephew. Right. His mother gone, his father gone, yeah. and now just him and his sister. Yeah. And I'm like, well, no, come on, no, 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 can't be. Yeah. Now I'm starting to shed tears. Yeah. Just it it it, it just came. Right. And so I tried to gather myself and call back, which I did call back. Right. And I called back. She she was like, baby, are you are you all right? The, the rest of my brothers was there, my uncles and my un, right. uh, um, uh, sister and them, and the whole family w- w- was there. And they was like, like, hey baby, it's gonna be okay. Just just, just be cool. We we, we trying to figure things out, what happened, what's, what's going on. And I'm just crying. Yeah. I'm crying. That's understandable. Because it's my nephew. Right. So now I'm thinking something went down at the other prison. Okay. Now my whole mindset is like, all right, let's get there. Okay, so you thinking it's gang related? I'm thinking it's gang related. Yeah, you ready to 
Get a transfer. Let's get there. there. So what happened when you tried to get a transfer to leave? Um, the next day, um, um, I um, went in there to talk to the counselor, and she already knew. She what already was going knew on. that your nephew had passed right. away. She she already knew. The, she um, didn't know how. She Nobody she didn't know how the circumstances. Right. Or none of this. Right. 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 And, and so you don't know if it was a gang related. I didn't killing. know nothing. You don't know anything. I don't know anything. And nobody's telling you anything. Nobody telling me nothing. Because they're investigating. Exactly. Okay. Moms ahead. didn't know. But see, I I know how those things happen. Right. So what did you Because when do? my friend, um, she got killed. Uh-huh. You, you know, and they was telling um, his people that it was an overdose, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. They'll tell you one right. thing. Right. And, and, and it's, it's another. Not, so you're going to exactly. find out. How you going to find out what's really going on? I'm gonna find out the best way I can. Okay, now talk to, talk about that. Real and quick. so so I, I I tried to get at her and 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 tell her give me a transfer. She was like no no no, that's what we're not gonna do. It's it's okay. Yeah. They're doing it in investigation. I'm I ain't trying to hear what you're talking about. Right. Get me there. Right. I'm ready to make something happen. Yeah. Cause you think somebody killed. Exactly. exactly. So yeah. call back home. Told mama them. Hey, listen here. Don't even worry about me no more. At that point, you just decided, it, it, I'm going to go take care Man, of this. I'm not it, coming it, home. It, exactly, period. Yeah, it's all over. Yeah. It's, it's all, that's my nephew. Yeah. Um, so Kill or be killed. Be killed or be killed. Yeah, yeah exactly. Kill, yeah, kill that. Um, um, So um, I, I, I went through all my avenues to try to see um, what happened. And couldn't nobody give me that explanation. Um. I tried a friend who um, knew some people there, and he called, and and it wasn't nothing. Um, one of the guys that's here knew a nurse that was there. I'm trying to find out through there. Uh, trying to find through them. Couldn't nothing. find out nothing. So it's really making me mad now. Yeah, no answer. Man, I had sleepless nights. I'm crying. I'm crying. Looking at this picture that they just sent to me. He in the car with my brother. He in, he in the back seat. With a big old smile on his face. Now I'm I'm steady looking at people like, how are you gone? How? I don't, I, I don't get it. How are you gone? So, but um, calling moms, she cool and calm, yeah, cool and collective, and she's like, uh, baby, I'm just believing that God got it. It's okay. Don't worry about that. I just need you to calm down. Don't do nothing stupid. Just calm right. down. So, but as time goes on, um, it was investigation, uh, so forth. They um, was was saying that uh, my mom was trying to see um, was it COVID related. related. Mm-hmm. They they wouldn't uh, tell her that, and, and, and saying that he didn't take a, a, a COVID test, but he did. Mm-hmm. They um, um, so was saying she she's being lied to. Yes, or told. The version of the story exactly. that they had at that time. Exactly. So what happened? What happened was that his celly found him dead at five something in the morning okay. in his bunk. And um, to come find out, him and his celly was using drugs, some ice. Maybe. And uh-huh. my nephew had a heart problem. I didn't know. And my mother was trying to tell him, hey, Go get yourself uh, checked out. Go to the nurse. Yeah, get yourself uh, checked out. But they didn't know that he was getting high. No, they didn't. So now he's sitting up there, and his celly said that um, he's. My nephew said something to him that his chest was hurting. And so, as we know, um, those those people that um, when you get high and and, and your heart beats just so fast, you you uh, bugging out. Hey man, uh, chill out, man. Hey. Is 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 just a drug, man. Man, man just it's, it's okay. Here, you want some water, man? Chill out, right. just breathe. Yeah. So forth. And so you on. don't want to go to the man. Yeah, exactly. Don't go to the police, we, right? We definitely don't want to knock on the doors. Police, we're, we're hey, come here. Uh, exactly. I need some we help. we no. both gone. Yeah. You know, we don't want to do that. So he laid down in the bed. So he laid down in the bed. And he died. And he died. And um um, long story short, um uh uh, uh again um, autopsy came back. They had. Fentanyl and um, mm. um, um, uh, what's the other drug? Um, um, help me, um, that 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 drug, uh, fentanyl and um, I don't know, 
some some other powerful drug. Mm -hmm. um, Oxycontin? No. Um, then we 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 already said it um, be, be, be before. Um, you ain't talking about that deuce, is Nah, I I I I'll forget the name of it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my mind is is right. is is racing right now. But he had drugs in his system, and um, it took them a long time. My my nephew was dead for like almost a month before we can get his body. Before you can get his body. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Be, because they had to do all these tests and uh, plus people from downtown yeah. was doing the investigation right. too right. privately. Yeah, they want to make sure. Because too many things been happening. Yeah, too many people been yes. dying. Yes, yeah, exactly, right. exactly. So um, um, I, I told my mama, hey, listen, this is nothing new to the prison system. Right. There's many men and yeah. women yeah. that has passed away. Right, it happens in here. It happens. And let me get to something that I want to ask you. We've mm -hmm. answered one question that I mm -hmm. started this episode off with about how you died. Now, the next question is, do you accept any responsibility in how his life ended? Oh, yeah. And I say that because, mm -hmm. okay, let me say this yeah, whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I say that because um, <clears throat> we want the best for the people that we love. Mm -hmm. But we live in this lifestyle. We act a certain way mm -hmm. in front of them that makes them think that this lifestyle is cool. Mm -hmm. You and I both know that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't know that. They don't know that. And he made a lot of decisions. Would you agree or disagree about how he wanted to live his life based on how he saw you living your life? Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Yes, I do. So, he patterned his life after you, somewhat. And those decisions that he made, influenced by Me. what he saw, mm -hmm. you doing, brother, it led to him dead, dying. Mm -hmm. And I often wonder how people like us that have lived the lifestyle, mm -hmm feel when somebody that looks up to us ends up losing. And mm -hmm. when I say losing, I'm mm -hmm. talking about all the way. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because right. I, I I felt like that when my both of my sons came to prison. I'm like, this is not one of those moments to be proud. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was embarrassed. Exactly. I was ashamed. I was hurt for them mm -hmm. because I know what this is. And I think that even though I told them don't do A, B, and C, they still found out how they found out mm -hmm. that I was doing this and that. They still knew when I would call certain friends mm -hmm. for them that I was still doing certain things. So mm -hmm. I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And the example that I set for them led them to prison. Mm -hmm. Led them to prison. That's true. It led to more victims being created out there. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which I accept responsibility for that. And it led to them being uh, incarcerated. Now, I'm grateful that both of them are doing okay now and uh, are alive. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah for sure. And, and, but I'm saddened that your situation didn't end like that. Yeah. And, and I would ask you, you know, as we wrap this episode up, what is it that you would like to say to people like me and you mm -hmm. that have lived a certain way and influenced so many people hmm. that, you know, this is cool or this is straight. Mm -hmm. What would you say to those individuals like us that are still doing those types of things? What would you like to say to them in light of, you know, the story yeah, you just yeah. told? You know, we, we can put our minds and say a lot of things to those, to those men and women. Yeah. That 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 in, um, have uh, people that's looking up to them, um, and they're doing the wrong things. Um, and we we ha we have those friends, nieces, nephews, and so forth, so on so, so, that's looking up to you, but you don't see that child that's looking up to you. You you don't see that that child is 
is looking up to you and saying, hey, I want to be like uncle, auntie, that friend or whoever. Or dad or mama. Dad, dad or mama. Man, my thing that I, 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 I can say right now, because look at the world right, right now. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah. But what I can say, me, me personally, it's more than just stop. Let's 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 you gotta be hands on, man. Let's 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 take control. Let's take back. That's right for the ours. Our kids, our nieces and nephews. That's our generation. Take them back from the streets. Let's take them back. And, and man, I, I, I still believe in whoopings, chastisements, and and um 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 still loving and and and, and embracing and, and showing you, hey, this was wrong, but. You got to stop first before you be able to chastise that person because he's looking at you. So how can you chastise him for what he's doing wrong? Right. But you still doing wrong. But he's looking at your wrong. That's yeah. why he's doing wrong. Yeah, so, so you're saying it's about personal responsibility. It's we, a personal we, we have to get responsibility. Right we, we got to. them to get right. We got to, man. So your message to them is to get right. Get right, man. Stop. 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 Because yeah. it's not worth it. It's, a, it's not it's, it's not, not worth it, it man. It's not worth it. Too many is dying. Too many is in prison. Yeah. Too many. Yeah. As we look at the news too every day. Dying, too many people in prison. Come on, not man. enough people accepting responsibility. Not too many people. They don't want to do that. It's always somebody else's fault. It's always somebody you know else's I mean? fault. I can't keep on saying it's your fault. Nah, I can't keep saying it's your nah. fault if I keep doing it. It ain't my fault. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Sure. I'm going to wrap this thing up, man. I want to thank you for doing this. Man, for sure, man. Uh, I thank you. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. I think this is going to help a lot of people. Um, I, pray. I really appreciate it. Oh, I, I, no I, 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 ain't no I, doubt about I, I it. Ain't no doubt about it. It's yeah. done. It's yeah. already done. Yeah, for done. sure. For sure. Yeah. This has been another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker, the Crime Critic, and I say peace, y'all. Yeah, you.